Yeah, man. I mean, when you think of, like, the mecca of college basketball, you think of, like, the Maui tournament, you think of the Blue Bloods like UNC, and we've and I've experienced all of those in the first month of playing. Um, it's, it's been a blast. It's been a learning curve. You know, there was no easing into college basketball. I mean, our exhibition game was against Michigan State. Um, so, you know, there was the learning curve was steep, but I've really, I've really enjoyed it so far. Man, just, just playing hard and being versatile, you know. Um, every team in the country has its needs, and if I can fill as many of those needs for this team as possible, then I'll feel like that'll be my baseline for this year. When did you figure out that what you can do might fill some needs for this team? You know, I feel, I feel my, my entire life I've had an extreme confidence, confidence in what I can do. Um, so, and every team needs needs defense and needs rebounding. And so that's something I've always prided myself on, whether it be guarding guards or guarding bigs, you know. Um, so, you know, since, since I got here even injured, I, I saw stuff um, this summer where I was like, man, I was like, I, I could really feel, feel a role of just, just being a, a connector on offense, a connector on defense, just filling in these little gaps here and there. Talk about seeing just about everything in college basketball first month. How excited are you for kind of first big home game? Man, I'm, I'm excited. You know, uh, being recruited here, I came to the Arizona game here two years ago, sold out like two days before Christmas. It was a great environment. And I'm, I'm excited to finally get to play one of those environments here. You know, love, love this city, love what, love what it's about. And I'm finally excited to actually get to play in one of those sold out environments. What's so impressive about what Jonas is doing right now? Man, Jonas, Jonas is, is playing really well right now. And we all, we all knew he had it. It was just a matter of him of him showing it, you know. Um, and he's had the opportunity with the, with the teams we faced. I mean, we've played three potential first-team All-Americans in, in, in three games in a row um, So at, at his position. So when he, when he continues to play the way he's been playing at the level or the competition he's been playing at, you know, it's, it's been really impressive to watch him. Have you had that welcome to college basketball moment, or has there been anything that has surprised you so far? Man, not really. I mean, just guarding guarding Josiah every day in practice, does that count? I mean, that's, that would be a pretty good one. You know, that, I mean, he's, he's been in here a while. He's got a watch to play, you know, um, being recruited here. And, um, you know, he's strong, quick, all the above. So I, I'd say just practice every day has been my welcome to college college moment. And Kate, on that, we talked about welcome to college. What about a welcome to college moment from your head coach? I'm sure you saw Rick <laughs> get on. Oh, you know, man. When's the first time it happened to you? Like, what was your Gosh, I'm trying. I'm trying to think that because there were there were even times like I would be working out um, on the other side of the court during the summer because I was coming back from the labor room, you know, because um, I couldn't go full speed in practice. And, and he's, he's getting on to me for how I'm working out on the other side while practice is going on. So I'd say I'd say something like that. Um, but it, it's just every day. But you you love it. You love it. If, if, if he wasn't coaching me hard and if he wasn't on me every day, I'd I'd feel like he doesn't love me. You know, he doesn't he doesn't want to see what's best for me and he doesn't. He didn't see anything in me, so I'm I'm glad he coaches me the way he does. That mid-range fader from Josiah since he got him in practice, how hard is that truly to guard? Man, and the the thing is, you can try like you can be like, okay, I know it's coming, I know it's coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump first and then swipe, and then you still you're still not there. Um, and you know he he's so strong, so you can't even get in his cylinder real well either. So, um, but man, he, he's just and he's got counters to it too. He's 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 good. He's good and. He's playing at a very high, highly, extremely good level right now. Which fun is it to be the uh, inbound lob guy? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it, it's great. It's great. Listen, whenever, whenever we go baseline out of bounds, we all look over the sideline. Uh, we we kind of know which play is coming. So, um, and, it, and it's good because if, if I can draw two guys on that play, um, it, it leaves, usually leaves Jordan or DK open for a three in that corner almost every time. You got to have a good poker face. And not oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to. You got to look over and like act like somebody's not in the right position, you know. Um, just kind of play it off, stand up straight every now and then, act like I'm out of the play. So we we, we try different things. Illinois rebounds the ball really well. What makes, as someone who's taller than all of us, uh, what makes a good rebounder besides just height? Yeah, I, I would say it's it's an effort thing. It's going to get it. And you know, there's that famous clip of Dennis Rodman talking about where the ball is bouncing and this and that. I, I don't have that level. It's just a matter of just like, like I, I want it more than another guy. And I mean, we, we got a guy on our team, Tobey, who's probably one of the best out of area rebounders um, in the country. And so it's a matter of just effort and just, and just like will to go get it.